Attention on deck! You need to stand up now. <laughs> Captain Valentine arriving. As you were. You need to sit down now. <laughs> Noble gentlemen, fair ladies, peasants, other assorted riffraff, I bid you good day. I am the owner and master of the good ship Valentine. The good ship Valentine has sailed from Bristol Harbor since the year of Her Majesty 1585. As I am the captain and master of this ship, I have the authority to perform this ceremony today. On behalf of the Lady Emma and the Lord Gavin, welcome to you all. Well, that may be true, but uh, we are lucky in that I brought some of the sea with us so that we would not be totally without the sea. So I have here, waters of the seven seas. But Captain, you ain't got a ship. There ain't an ocean for miles and round. We're in the desert. Again, good point. Lieutenant, hatch cover from the Valentine. I, she's a fine and sturdy ship. Good Cornish oak, Pat. And as I'm standing on the catch cover of the Valentine, I retain the authority to do this ceremony. Will I recognize my authority? And will, are there any other questions from the crew? Nay, good captain. Ready proceed. Thank you. Lady Emma and Lord Gavin are thrilled that you are here today to share in their joy in this wonderful moment in their lives. By your presence, you celebrate us with them the love they have discovered in each other and pledge your support for their decision to commit themselves one to another for the rest of your lives. This afternoon we are here to celebrate their love and commitment. We come together to witness and proclaim the joining of these two persons in marriage. Love is a union of two individuals in heart, body, mind, and spirit. Marriage, an expression of this devotion, is not to be entered into lightly, but rather honestly and deliberately. And it is into this union that Lady Emma and Lord Gavin cometh now to be joined. Lady Emma, thou hast chosen Gavin to be your life partner. Wilt thou love and respect him? Wilt thou be honest with him always? Wilt thou stand by him through whatever may come? Verily I will. Lord Gavin, thou hast chosen Emma to be your life partner. Wilt thou love and respect her? Wilt thou be honest with her always? Wilt thou stand by her through whatever may come? Verily I will. 
and do you both promise to make the necessary adjustments in your personal lives in order that thou may live in a harmonious relationship together? We shall. Gavin and Emma, we cometh now to your vows. May I remind you that tis one thing to say your vows, but nothing will be more challenging than living them day by day. Whatever you promise today must be renewed on the morrow, and every day hence. Pursue, turn and face each other. Lieutenant, the scrolls, if you will. Lady Emma. I choose now to stay this path with you wherever it may lead, whether it be through stress and strife or ice cream and cuddling on the couch. <laughs> I promise to be your partner in times of joy and times of trouble, to provide for and support you, to respect the unique person that you are and to help you become even better. I will journey with you through the frustrating, rewarding, and heroic adventures of life. In all that we may find, I pledge my friendship, my faith, my trust, and my love. By my trust, I will work with you to forge our path and tell you every day how much I appreciate and adore you. This I vow, for my heart is yours and yours mine until the end of our day. I choose now to stand by your side wherever we are and wherever we go. No matter whether the seas be calm or rough, whether the sun shineth or clouds block the sky, I will be there for you. I promise and I trust that whenever we take each other's hand, we will be in for an adventure together. And when the adventures are over and the day groweth long, we will make a home together too. Our home will always be filled with laughter and bad puns, with midnight conversations and home good breakfasts. You are the most wonderful thing in my life, and I will do my best to tell you every day and never take you for granted. This I vow, for my heart is yours and yours mine. Until the end of my days. Lieutenant, the rings, if you please. Lady Emma, the ring for your husband. Please place it on his finger. Lord Gavin, the ring for your wife. Please place it on his finger. We recognize and respect the promises you have made here this day before all of us as witnesses. Therefore, by the authority vested in me as the captain of the great ship Valentine, I declare you married and partners for life. You may seal your vows with this. Lieutenant. Mark this entry. Lord and Lady, prithee mark your names in the log that this event may be reported for future generations. pleasure to be the first to introduce to you the Lady Emma and Lord Gavin as a newly married couple. Pray greet us them warmly. And now, prithee join us in yon feast hall for meat, mead, and merriment. Good harvest, a tune if you would. <laughs> 